a new feature that just came out in the Creative Cloud 2014 version is this. Now, for years, we've been able to go into our Illustrator file and we've been able to click and hold and click on our tools. And then with my mouse held down, I've been able to go and click on the very right side of my flyout to do what's called a tear off. This is a unique Illustrator feature and this has been around for a long time. And I generally do this for my drawing tools because not all the drawing tools have shortcuts. I could make shortcuts, but I haven't. But I like to have my drawing tools readily accessible here and there are a lot of them. And I can have a lot of floating panels. And this has been going on for years in Illustrator. So it's nice to have those little tear offs there. 2014 update gave us this. Under the window menu, we have the application bar, control bar and such. And I can go to my tool section, which allows me to go in and create a new tool panel. And this tool panel allows me to create a new tool panel. I'm just going to call it Creative Cloud 2014. So one thing I can't do is type. I will never teach a typing class. Here's my new panel and it's totally customizable. So anything, any tool that I'm going to use on a consistent basis, I can create my own tool panel. So I can simply grab those icons and put them right into my tool panel right there and I have all my tools in my tool panel. And this is a saved panel. If you go under the window menu under tools here, when I save that, I can easily call up that specific tool panel. I can have as many panels as I want. If I'm doing some type of drawing, I can create a tool panel with all those tools in there. So with that, I have the ability to now control everything that I want because like lens flare, I never use. Some of these other ones I use, but I use very rarely. So I know I'm going to use these shapes right here and so I may just go and include all those ones in there for quick and easy access to whatever it is that I need. And then I can close out all of my little tear offs here and have everything readily available. Plus I have my fill and my stroke readily available there as well. Because if you've ever used Illustrator, inevitably you've got the fill and the stroke switched. You draw something, you mean to apply the stroke or the fill and you apply the wrong one which I will do just to make you feel good because you'll do the same thing and I do it too. So that's a new feature there, window menu tools, setting up a new tool panel and anyone that you set up resides right here in the list. Nice and handy, floatable and you can put it in any direction that you want. It creates a little mini tool panel. Awesome.